What's going on YouTube? My name's Alex, and this is Ask the Cheese Gaming. Now back with a new 16-bit retro review for you today. Last week I took a look at Mortal Kombat 1 for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. So, this week, I want to continue that trend and take a look at the sequel, Mortal Kombat 2. It first appeared on arcades June 25th of 1993, and later got ported to the Super Nintendo Genesis and Game Gear on September 9th of 1994. The story for Mortal Kombat 2 goes, Liu Kang has defeated Shang Tsung in Mortal Kombat 1. Disgraced, the sorcerer returns to Outworld, begging the Emperor for his life with a fear of death. In an effort to save his life, he devises a plan to host one final Mortal Kombat tournament in Outworld in which the Emperor himself can watch over and participate with a plan to defeat and kill the upstart Earthrealmers once and for all. Now, a couple things you'll notice right away when you fire up this game from its predecessor, Mortal Kombat 1. First off is the expanded roster. In the first game, there's only seven characters, and in this, there's 12, including some newcomers, such as Melina, Katana, and Jax. And also, Reptile is now playable in this game. He was a hidden fighter in the first Mortal Kombat. And also, there's actually blood and fatalities in the Super Nintendo port. Now, during development of the arcade game, Ed Boon decided that he wanted to add friendships and babalities, which are non-lethal ways to finish your opponent when it says finish him. I guess this was kind of his way of trying to poke fun and kind of mess with people over all the pushback and blowback that Midway received at the time over their fatalities in Mortal Kombat 1. Hey, I'm glad they put it in the game. I would argue that one of the worst parts of Mortal Kombat 2 for the Super Nintendo has to be the music and the sound effects. It just pales so poorly in comparison to the original arcades. I mean, the sound effects just feel watered down and just dull. The second worst part of this game has to easily be, by far, the difficulty. I mean, it's like the first three fights are just practice, and then the AI magically just switched to insane mode and says, Okay, you're done. I'm just going to counter everything you do now. You lose, I win. Even though it's a home port, it's still trying to practice that, Oh, I need to sit here and eat up and counter all your quarters mode. It's just... It's just berserk. Switching gears, I would like to next talk about the best part of the fighting game, which I believe to be all the secrets that are contained in the game. Whether it's each character's two fatalities that they have, and yes, by the way, every single character now has two fatalities up from the previous game, such as Sub-Zero doesn't have a spine rip, but instead he has two different fatalities performing his ice moves, and Liu Kang actually now has a lethal finisher in this game. Or the three secret fighters that you can find throughout the game, which are Jade. If you beat the character before the question mark in one round with only low kicks, you'll get to face her. Noob Saibot, if you perform 50 versus matches, you get to face him. Or Smoke, which is when he appears, you quickly immediately perform an uppercut. And if you press the correct buttons, Dan Forden will come out and say Toasty, and you get to go and face Smoke. Now, as a kid, these secret fighters blew my mind. I kept wondering, who is that hiding behind the trees, and what are they saying, and do I get to play as them? Can I fight them? I mean, oh man, oh man, all those secrets and all the talk way back when on the playground... It just totally blew me away. But more importantly, the question now becomes, is Mortal Kombat 2 worth picking up today or adding to your collection? Well, to be totally honest, unless you're a hardcore nostalgia fan of Mortal Kombat like me, or a hardcore collector for the Super Nintendo, then to be honest, no. 
The controls for this game are very, very stiff. The sound, like I said, is a bit dull. And all in all, the game's kind of limited. On top of that, the just stupid, brutal difficulty. Oh, dear God. The cheapness of the AI still makes me want to throw my controller at the screen to this very day. Oh, and if you're thinking about getting this for the Genesis, don't. The Genesis port is even worse than the Super Nintendo port. To be totally honest, if you want to play Mortal Kombat 2, I would either recommend running it on an emulator, such as the MAME, which is a very faithful emulator port to run, or you can also go online and get the Mortal Kombat Arcade Collection for the PlayStation 3 or Xbox 360. If you enjoyed this review, please like, comment, and share. Thanks for watching. Now until next time.